Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool card trick involving the uh, size step and stack. So here's what it would look like. You could have the spectator go ahead and cut the cards as many times as they like and does not matter. So let's pretend the deck's on the table here. The spectator is going ahead and cutting the cards as many times as they want. And this is how they're going to pick a card. So you tell them, alright, so you've cut up the deck. Go ahead and cut the deck one more time. Let's say they wanted to cut to this random card, and here's how this is going to work. So, at this point, neither you nor the spectator actually know uh, the value of the card. So, here's what's going to happen. So, the deck is going to tell us everything that we need to know. So, if we have the deck, we want to ask it what color it is. So, we have C-O-L-O-R. So, the deck says your card is going to be a red card. And the next thing we want to know is the value. So, let's go ahead and say, uh, let's look for the number of the card. So, we have N U M. B E R and just like that hopefully we should get the value so we have a red card and it's going to be an 8 so over here we have a red 8 and look at that we have a red 8 so this is the trick guys and if you want to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so here's how the trick actually works so the deck is actually set up with every single card in a specific order now i know that sounds like a lot but with the side step and stack there's a lot more things you can do so i'll probably be going into doing uh, more tricks using the actual size uh, the side step and stack just so it's not you know a waste of your time to do all this stuff so anyways later on down the road i'll do more tricks but this is what this is going to look like so you want to get the cards in every single suit from ace to king leaving the ace or actually the king on top if the cards are face up so go ahead get all the cards in numerical order uh, order just like that and then you want to put them in what's called chased order and chased starts with the ch so you have to remember clubs hearts and then spades uh diamonds so it should be an alternating black to red but as long as you know the clubs come first and then the hearts and then if you know they're alternating then you know where to put these cards uh here's the first part you have them in this stack what you do with the clubs you take the ace you put that on top of the clubs you take the four you put that on top of the hearts you go to the seven and then you put this on top of the spades and then you put the 10. So these are only increasing by values of three. So one plus three equals four, plus three equals seven, plus three equals 10. And at this point you have the stack, you go ahead and you take one card from each of the piles and you go through just like this and you are going to set up the deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys so you don't have to sit through all this. And so once you have your setup, you're pretty much ready to go. You could do any sort of false cut you want. Just make sure not to mess up any of the cards, um, any sort of false shuffle that you want to, like I said before. But uh, you could have the spectator cut the deck any way they like. Since cutting the cards, it doesn't really mess up the order. It just kind of flips it around a little bit. Uh, you're not really disturbing where the cards are. So you could have the spectator go ahead and cut the cards as many times as they want, as long as you know they're not going to mess it up. And now from here, this is what you're going to do. So you can tell the spectators, all right, so you know, you cut the cards as much as you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have you pick a card. So go ahead and cut the cards one more time. So wherever they cut the cards at, you can actually take the card that they pick from the middle. You're going to leave this face down or you could ask them to hold it. And then you wanna complete the cut. And then the trick is pretty much set up and ready to go. So this card is gonna be whatever it is. Um, you know, you nor the spectators see the card until the end. So you can tell the spectators, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use the deck to help me find out what your card is. So let's see what color it is. So you go ahead and you spell out color C O L O R and then the next card down is going to tell us the color and you tell them it is going to be a red card. And then you want to tell them that you obviously want to know the number or the value of it. So let's spell out N U M B E R. The next card down tells us it is going to be a 10. So your card should be a red 10. So just like that if you have the spectator hold the card, you can tell them to turn it over, or you can flip this over, and it's going to be a red 10. So this is a trick, guys. Um, I hope you guys like it, and like I said before, I'm going to be going into more videos and more tricks using the size, uh, the size 7 stack. So I hope you guys like this. As always, thank you.